Hey everybody, it's Monday, June 10th, 2024. Remember, I'm a clairvoyant, clairaudient, so everything is for entertainment purposes only. The uh, full disclaimer is in the box, along with the stuff for the super stickers and thanks button. So we had to take down the tip jar because of some creepiness, but uh, yeah, you can still buy me a coffee or cream soda if you feel up to it. Uh, let's get, there's some, just some strange stuff that really <clears throat> hit me tight over the day or so. Uh, something that many of us have been watching is the perverted Mengele destruction of the youth. I mean, all we have to do is look at that TLC series about that young boy who basically uh, is now a Frankenstein kid. Yes, the American College of Pediatrics has come out and is now calling out all these woke idiots that are basically being putting out their own little Joseph Mengele uh, aspirations to change a child's sex. Well, it is a proven fact that somebody's brain is not fully developed until they're in their mid-twenties. So how can somebody who hasn't, whose brain hasn't finished developing be able to make a lifelong decision when they're sing still in single digits? They're still at least 15 years away from full maturity. And the parents that go along with it, they're, I would say, abusive. In my, That's my opinion. And now that it is coming out, I mean, a large group of doctors are calling out these uh, Mangala wannabes because now they're, these pediatricians are now having to try and fix sometimes permanent, irreversible damage done to children. I mean, these kids, I mean, how many times has everyone said, oh, I, one day they'll want to be a fireman, the next day they want to be a, a movie star, or they want to do motocross. Kids are constantly evolving and their minds are developing and expanding. So you can't take for solid concrete proof what an eight-year-old says because at 18 they may have totally different wants and needs in the world. So basically just let the kids grow and if they're having everybody's so worried about mental health, okay, so they can go talk to a licensed counselor that will listen to them and give them constructive tools to work through things. Not a patch being called medication and surgery. So they're expect a major ass, major backlash when this kicks off. Because there will be now young adults who are now having mutilated bodies who may go after their parents and doctors for performing these experimental procedures, these Mengele procedures on them before they could even legally buy a pack of cigarettes or vote watch a lot of parent a lot of adults are going to be probably charged with child abuse and the doctors that went along with the parents choice so that's going to be a new phase of legal medical malpractice has been the will be the ex young adults going after for the doctors that experimented on their bodies And it's going to probably kick off here in the U.S. and then expand 
to all the other Western countries. Now, some things that are going on. Um, yeah, we I did see the news blurb that I guess this week the Emperor and Empress of Japan are paying a state visit with KC3. So we're looking forward to because you know there will there will be a state banquet. So let's I'll keep our eyes open to see what and the Princess Royal and Duchess Sophie and uh, Camilla wear to the event and we probably see we'll see uh, the Countess Beatrice there Poss possibly Sarah Ferguson um, but yeah I think the main fashion plates for this state dinner will be Camilla and Sophie and since it's now summer break from school Lady Louise and we'll probably see the Tyndalls also and we know Zara Tyndall is a flash fashion plate herself so uh, there still will be plenty of gorgeous ball gowns to be seen for our formal dinner wear no no it's not a ball it's a formal state dinner formal dinner wear and uh, and we know that Catherine, there may be a very, very quiet um, meeting for tea with Catherine, Camilla, and the Empress that's kept very hush-hush because we know that Catherine is still going through medical treatment. So there might possibly be a very quiet afternoon tea with girls only no guys around and it'll be very quiet now the other thing that's hit the fan and we're waiting to see some more information there's rumors that Chuck Spencer may be getting divorced again well he does have a lot on his plate and uh, I guess some of it some of the garbage on his plate that he has to deal with is his nephew. Well, yeah, if, uh, maybe he is maybe the Spencer uncle and aunts are trying to put together a plan to extricate Henry and the alleged children out of California. The Mountbatten Windsors, the Spencer family has always been courtiers to the royals. So uh, I'm getting the hunches that it's going to be the Spencers who do the extrication, who extract him out, and then will deliver him to either his old bedroom at St. James Palace or Highgrove. Because I keep getting Henry's going to be back in his old bedroom. Definitely. Um, we've seen the fact that um, the Islamic Republic has released a few more hostages. They have been informed that if they leak any of the realities of what Hamas is actually doing, that any remaining people who are still alive will end up in plastic body bags. They can't tell the truth, or the truth cannot be revealed to the public because it's under, um, they've been told by the ruthless people, the extreme Islamics, that uh, if you tell the truth of how you're being treated and what's going on, the other ones don't have a snow snowball's chance. And now it's been leaked that allegedly some member of the Al Jazeera network has been keeping hostages in their residence. 
Now you have to remember that Al Jazeera has members of their news agency worldwide. And there's some bad apples in, through Fox News and Newsmax and OAN and First Posts and the BBC and the, the France 24 Hour and the one the multiple ones coming out of India, they all have good apples, they all have bad apples. Now, what we see in English on Al Jazeera isn't the complete truth. What you want is you've got to listen to the direct news broadcasts out of Riyadh. Then you get a good sense of what's going on. But not too many people understand the Riyadh dialect. But... Um, do that and also listen to what's coming out of Budapest and Vienna and uh, the other Eastern European cities. Ignore the shit coming out of Ukraine because I do talk to a lot of Ukrainians in the area and they talk, they have are able to communicate with people back home and they cannot wait to see the Z guy. Um, hanging out and having coffee with Hitler. Okay. Now, part of the stuff that's going crazy in Europe right now is that we had the EU elections. And it seems that Germany, France, Italy, and Austria have been voted, have voted in some people who are on the right side of center. And now Ursula van der Leyen is having, needs to start wearing Depends. I mean, she's doing a Jojo because she's so left of center, she's afraid of losing her head honcho position with the EU. And even Macron has gone batshit crazy because so many people voted right of center that he says, I don't care about the Olympics. I'm shutting down parliament now and we're throwing in new elections. Well, because he's have Macron's having his little temper tantrum. Um, and we saw the faux pas of his wife with Camilla. Macron's going to get voted out and Marie Le Pen's party network is going to step in. And I'll, I can give you one super, super, really good example. Now, how messed up France is. Here in the United States, a couple years ago, it, there were like, there's a lot of independent school bus companies, but the two big ones or like Durham, which was owned by a group out of Birmingham, England. And then there was First Student owned by First Group out of Aberdeen, Scotland. Well, First Group basically sold off all their North American holdings. The school bus division went to these dudes out of Scandinavia, but the First Transit Division, which is more towards college campuses and shuttle buses for like airport and people going from the metro to their big office buildings and some shuttle services and charter services. The first transit side was sold to TransDev and the regular suburban bus lines. They're owned by TransDev now. TransDev is a for-profit sector of the French government. TransDev is board of directors are the corrupt left-wing idiots out of France. Now I know some people who work in different divisions of TransDev. And I, I talked to one of the gals yesterday and she says it's a complete clusterfuck. They were supposed to be doing, um, a lot of people have been working remote since the faux flu. But now they're saying, oh, you now have to come into the offices. But now they're saying, oh, they don't have enough people, but they were supposed to have a hiring fair, and the hiring fairs never happen. 
I can honestly say since TransDev has taken over the suburban bus services, I've heard from people that it's gone from bad to shit in a handbag. It's really gotten bad. The dependability of the bus lines. And the amount of, they're trying to push drivers into violating Department of Transportation rules and regulations. And for this section that handles like college campuses and metro to the big building, buildings, office buildings, they're the internal politics, the internal corporate structure is a complete another complete clusterfuck yeah a lot of people nation here across the united states were being victimized by the french government those people who have to use uh suburban public transportation yeah we're feeling we're feeling the effects many people are feeling the effects of the eu Macron's left-wing idiot, idiot, idiocracy, and they don't even know it. Yeah, we're worried about the uh, migrants, the open border. I mean, okay, yeah. Basically, they paraded puppet Jojo out so he could poop his pants in public, basically, to get Hunter and the border off the front headlines. They paraded the Dumbo out so he could do something stupid, embarrass himself again, to deflect attention. Mm -hmm. Hey, great way. President poops his pants. That knocks a few column inches off every newspaper and a few minutes out of every news broadcast. But, yeah, this week we're going to be seeing more of Hunter. But, um... And the other thing, Donald is supposed to have a meeting with his parole officer. Um, I have a feeling that if that parole officer says, oh, you got to go wait it out in the pokey. Uh-uh. Some stuff is going to... If he does that, the parole officer and that judge may have to go into the federal witness program. For their own stupidity. If they're smart, hey, Donald's got 24-7 security around him. Don't worry about it. Because we know it's all, hey, they set the precedent. Do they also want to lock up Billy C? And Barry Sotero? They ought to. <laughs> Whatever they've done to Donald, they've got to go back and do to the other two presidents, former presidents, those two idiots. But, yeah, what we've got happening this week, we're, a lot of stuff is coming out in the Hunter Biden trial. And, uh. I bet right now while I'm filming this, they're walking into the courtroom again. And he doesn't, I hope he realizes that his fate is actually going to be in the hands of those jurors. And uh, there's people who don't like the Biden crime family. So a lot more is going to get hit the fan this week. And uh, if Hunter goes up on the stand to testify for himself, he's going to, his answers may end up giving him an extra charge of perjury. So um, that's the big word that keeps, every time I see HB, it's perjury, perjury. He, he, every there's lies all over the place so um, that's that's what I'm getting with these idiots but um, yeah it's uh, 
expect, yeah, now what's popping in my head, yeah. Um, let the eagles, eagle eyes out there in Windsor keep their eyes open. They'll probably see Catherine going into the castle. And uh, Catherine going in one in the back entrance, and you'll see the a car transporting the Empress. And so it'll probably be, Catherine will do that. And uh, I still get the feeling that she will be, she'll be able to be seen from the balcony. And they're still making a decision whether or not it'll be through a window with Sarah or actually standing, but I still am getting, she's gonna be there with the kids because George has to see the flyover and so does Louie and same with little little Lottie. So um, this is what I've got right now. Um, I've got things to do and uh, let's see what pops up later and um, and next video goes out on perfect okay got to do that uh return that call uh, um today's monday so the next video goes up on wednesday have a good one bye